never get enough track oh! Oh! Enjoy more, please. Oh, and I'm back, dog. Yo, I really wish I could play music. What's God? Dunk Life Daily. Yo, we hit 30K, though. 30K, bro. Right into it. We're getting right into it. Thank you so much. The grind from 20 to 30 was fucking slow, but that's because I was learning. wasn't dunking as much. I understand algorithmics better now, but not even that. I wanted to use the metaphor. It's a perfect one. Growing on YouTube is the same as my dunk journey growing inches. Wink. Um, trying to jump your highest, trying to push yourself physically is the same as other endeavors. And this one's a really uh, similar type of adventure where it just took a long time. And the main theme for anything you want to achieve, simply put in three words, and I'm going to tell you those three words right now, but I want to hype it up. And those three words are the only thing you need for it to achieve anything you ever want. Actually, there's two sentences that are three words long, but I believe in both of them. I just gave a hint of what one of them was, but the first one I was going to say, which I promise you I will say so soon and you will love it and it'll help you out so much in anything you want to achieve. And it's a secret to everything. It's a secret to life. It's everything you ever wanted. And I promise I will say it. If I don't say it in the next 10 minutes, then you might want to keep stay tuned because I will say it. I won't not say it because I have to say it. Okay, here it is. Never give up. That's it. And the other one is believe in yourself. But the never give up one is give up if it's not what you love. <laughs> like there's things that are motivating that are extremely motivating. For example, dunking is another good example. I haven't even said any examples, but the point is dunking. Sometimes there was a part of me that wanted to prove people wrong. And then I had to get over that because that that was hindering my performance and my mindset when I would go to workouts. I was I was like rushing things, but that is a strong motivator. But if that was the only motivator, I don't think that's I should be dunking or trying to do something because once I prove them wrong, I, I'm not like fulfilled. But the reason I continue to dunk and continue to jump higher because it's my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite feeling. It's my favorite energy. It's a dream every time I dunk and making progress. There's no better feeling than making progress, jumping higher for me. Um, so that's what I'm saying. My point is, is never give up. If you want it, never give up. Just think of it as a mountain. If you want, if you find the mountain you want to be on top of, never give up climbing it. If you need to go all the way back to the bottom, that's fine. You sometimes have to take, you have to go all the way back to the foundation of the fucking mountain and start over, but that's never giving up. You'll get to the top of the mountain if you want to, but make sure you're at the right mountain. And YouTube is another mountain for me that I love because I, I love videos and I'm an entertainer. Okay. I love helping you guys enjoy more, whether it's, um, me actually, causing enjoyment in your life from this podcast you listen to this and you're happier or whatever i tell you you go out and do and you enjoy your life more that's my favorite thing in the world to do is help people enjoy more i had that life insight on yesterday's podcast if you listen to it but nobody did everybody did because i got 30k now people are fucking tuning in and uh yeah so enjoy more find your mountain and never give up because the thing with dunking is that it took me so long to do a strength phase correctly literally like two three years i tried one way i, I did the reps wrong i did it for too long i did it at the wrong timing to match up with dunk camp i was jumping poorly during dunk camp and dunked afterwards so i learned about the timing i learned so much about my nutrition look how goddamn shredded i am now my fucking obliques are looking fucking like a mountain range but a small one that's very very steep <laughs> the point is I'm learning about how nutrition works, how my mind body connection is getting stronger, how that applies to my training. So many different things that if I gave up, I would have never learned. So because it's a mountain, I like to climb. I'm learning about the crevasses of the mountain. I'm learning about the trails and the trailheads and the different animals that live along this path and the people that have died along the way. And I'm stepping over them. Those are the bodies I'm going to catch. In dunking. I'm going to dunk today. My back hurt yesterday just because like, I think I jumped too much. I slept a little weird. Slept so good last night. Actually, not too much, but I was just super pumped from everything. Um, made a sick video that was like 10 seconds long. I love dunk mixes, but I just need better dunks. Uh, but I'm hoping to go today. I might try to keep it disciplined, but I got to celebrate 30 30K. I'm trying to keep it disciplined for my hamstring. Um, it's, it's my hips and my glutes are getting more flexible and that's alleviating tension in my hamstring. I could feel it kind of getting a little better. It's just such a slow process because I believe it's a tendon, not the muscle, which is another thing to get into. Um, but that's, that's part of the mountain. I'm climbing it. I'm never giving up. I'm feeling really good about it. And this is something totally off topic, but it's been in my head and I've been wanting to mention on the podcast 
for no reason, but I just, I want to get it out there. I was driving and I saw a sign on a bench. So billboards are one thing. Benches are not who buys an ad on the bench. And it was, I just need to share this to see what you guys think. And then we'll get to everyone's favorite part. Oh, my CBD fell. Shout out to these guys. Oh, and also people have been giving me really great reviews on the book. Thank you for that. I, I'm going to probably make a part two soon or something, something new soon. I have so many ideas that I've been writing, 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 and I'm trying to condense them. I want to make an energy book about like how I got to this, anything. I don't know. I just love it. Uh, I had a dream. I did improv. I just remembered last night. I had a dream that, Oh, oh my God. I had a dream that, um, in the improv class, we were taking turns and, Oh, I wish I remembered, but someone said something and it wasn't my turn but nobody know what to said. So I just said it anyway. And it made the whole place laugh. And I loved it. <laughs> Making people laugh at my dreams. That's my favorite thing. Um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah. I saw this sign on a bench and it said emergency bird clinic. And <laughs> I was thinking, huh? What, why, why is it on a bench? Who's going to use it? And then it said 24 hours. So I'm thinking, when is someone going to see that number one? When is someone going to see that in the middle of the, of, the, of the night? Because 24 hours only applies to people that need to use it in the middle of the night. Are they going to see it during the day? Be like, okay, that's good to know for my bird next time he's ill. And then it's like, okay, do they write that number? I don't, I don't get it. Who spent money? <laughs> that's got to be a cheap ad thing. But I'm thinking, how many people is that hitting? Like when you, when I think of things, when I'm making content, when I'm thinking of anything, I'm thinking like, what, what, what should I worry about? Should I worry about this thing? There's like so many things that are like one in a million or like the most majority of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but this thing is like on a bench on the random side of the thing. Like how many people are going to pass that bench that have birds <laughs> that get sick or get injured in the middle of what? And so I, I was, I, I really am curious what that business, how that business is doing and how many bird emergencies are there? I've, are there any, are there, are there ever a time? Okay, that's it. I just had to get that out. And those are the type of things I want to express and I need to share because I've got no one to share it with. And I'm just thinking, I just hope the birds are doing well. That's it. All right. Now, um, I'm going to go over the best part of the podcast. Oh my God. I had the, um, the, on this day in history, where is it? There was other things I wanted to say, but you know, we keep it doing every single day we do this. Okay. So I'll be here tomorrow and everything's going well. I got a goddamn haircut. I feel amazing. Oh, it's the best feeling. I feel like you shed a whole layer of skin when you do that, bro. Um, the other thing, a little more motivation real quick is that learning about my body and the thing about my body and like getting leaner and more cut and doing things is that there's parts that I didn't even know existed. So it's like climbing a mountain and then you're finding caves that are just bonuses. You're like, oh shoot, there's a cave with gold in it. I didn't even know I can do that. And then you find more gold and you're like, oh, I can, I can find gold along this mountain too. I thought I was just trying to get to the top, but along the top you like gain all these things as well. So it's really fun to find things about yourself that you didn't even know existed in your brain somewhere and things like that. And then on top of it, making progress on that, it's just compounding, bro. Okay. Today in history, August 18th, 9, 1737, first public admittance to the Salon de Paris art exhibition of the Louvre in Paris. Okay. No one gives a fuck. Um, anything good? Dude, there's nothing. Oh, what is this? 1940, the battle of Britain, the hardest day. Luftwaffe loses 69 aircrafts. I don't know, dude, these are terrible today. There's not even one for music today. Today in film, 1926 weather map televised for the first time. It, it, what? It was only 90 years ago that the weather map? I guess that makes sense. I was thinking about weather too. Is like, how do we, how do we um, have all like, how can we see planets that are billions of years away and be like, like I watched the black hole thing and it was like, that black hole collided 13, 12 billion years ago and we're hearing it and we heard it in 2015, a little blip. We can do that, we can, but we can't even like predict with such certainty that a storm's coming on our own. I don't get it. How it's such a big disparity to me. Today in sports, 2008, Belarus weightlifter Andre Avram breaks three world records for the snatch, clean and jerk in total on the way to winning the men's 105 kilogram gold medal at the Beijing Olympics. Woohoo! Fucking sick, bro. I'm going to dunk soon. I can't wait. Uh, okay. Bro, I got a new review on my podcast thing. Here we go. I love these so much. Wait, that was that one. Where is it? I thought I saw a new one. Was it a new one? Oh, Laura Bloom. Laura Bloom again. What? She was he, She was one of the first ones ever. I've mentioned them. What's good? Best dunking podcast out there. This guy's a total jokester. Claims he can dunk, but then turns around and he admits he's only 5'10". <laughs> Next time, check your psychosis at the front door, bro. <laughs> I mostly listen for today in history. <laughs> No one does. 
where the host tells us what happened to old folks. I just did that. That's hilarious. Bro, Laurel Bloom, you're definitely the GOAT of the reviews. You left one. Let me tell you how long ago. Where was the first one? Maybe it's maybe if, if you... Re- Damn, I think if you review again, it doesn't it shows doesn't show it. I'll try to find it, but it was like one of the first ones I ever got, and you're the nicest ever. Thank you so much for all the support and everything. And now the dunk life of the day. I dropped the vlog yesterday. All my dunks poster practice. Bro, poster practice with my man Julian, super nice dude. He helped me try to dunk on him. He's six three. He just let me try to dunk. He was awesome. He was just doing it from a standstill. Um, let's see. Uh I just like this one right here. Matthew Smith. Steven, it's time to take this shit to the next level. I got you, bro. I'm on it. And then last podcast, Dunk Lifer of the Day. Um, got a question. What is the best recommended durable dunk shoes you got? I really like the Mamba Instincts. They're cheap. They were like 50 bucks and they've lasted me a long time each. Um, free book would be amazing. Loving your dailies. Jacob Lee, bro. Guess what? Free book for you. You're the first one I read. I don't know if other people do it, but I told yesterday I would give one book away. Jacob Lee, I got you. Comment on this video and I'll... I'll find a way to get you. Anyway, have a great effing day. It's a beautiful day, bro. I got a beautiful haircut. I'm going to dunk. My body's looking like the skin of a fucking excellent person. And we're going to dunk on somebody today. Maybe not. Maybe just work on my footwork like I should and keep my hamstring healthy. But I got to think long term and listen to myself. But it's been a great time. And I'm looking forward to the future because I'm at 30K now. And it's only going to grow. And you got to never give up because the mountaintops are where we want to be because they're high up there. And we have good vantage points. And if we want to see more of the world, we got to see from that vantage point. And we got to look out at over everything. And everything's going to be looked down. But bring people with you too. I want you guys to enjoy the mountain. So my job is to get you up there I'm, oh, oh. i gotta i gotta go i dropped i got i got too, i got too hype and i dropped my whole crystal i hope i hope the energy's not upside upside down i gotta go to the low oh that's the anthem right there tried to make an intro ended up making an anthem oh